afternoon folks and welcome to the Happy Hooker YouTube channel After yesterday's little performance up on uh, Not End Slipway I thought I'd get away for the day and I've come down to Penmon Point I'm here this morning, this afternoon with Ped and Ped, father and son We've got Paranoid Pete there <laughs> and we've got Pete the Bone Crusher here <laughs> Now these two lads I've known for years and years and years I have never ever in my life been out on a kayak before so we're going to whip out towards Puffin Island uh, and see if we can catch some oops, I'm dropping you see if we can catch some bass and some uh, some pollock and other bits of bobs let's see what we can do eh uh, I am going to have to wear my head strap with the camera so you'll have to bear with me guys right guys this is my weapon of choice now unfortunately I've not got a rod <laughs> but I'm going to go out with the uh, with old ped there or big ped Right, so what, what do I do with this now? Just get on it and... Woo! That's cold on my feet. Just go for it. Right, guys. We're in. Now, I have got a life jacket on. Oh, my bottom's all wet already. What a good... You knew that was going to happen! <laughs> right. Here we go. This is fun, guys. Right, Pedro. What do you reckon over to uh, Puffin Island? Oh, ah! Nearly crashed already. How far do you want to go? <laughs> right, I'll turn you off, guys, while we get out of here, away from all this rubbish. I'll put my feathers in my pocket. There we go, born natural, guys. I tell you what, what an absolute beautiful place. Absolutely loving this. You see them all fishing on the rocks, there's the lighthouse. How are you supposed to put your feet? Just like that? I'm thinking just like that. I'm just gonna follow Peter, because he knows where the fish are. A bit of background on Peter, he used to play a lot of rugby league, Peter. Was a very, very good player. Played for his country and everything. <laughs> right, I'm going, I'm going in circles. <laughs> now, have you never been on one either before, have you, Pete? I can see, it's, I can see Paranoid Pete up there laughing at us. <laughs> now, I'm going to put the camera off for a little bit while we get across the puffin here. Are we going that far across the puffin? Yeah, we'll have a go, eh? We'll have a go. <laughs> well this is an experience guys there's the uh the lighthouse at puffin island uh, not puffin island penmont point i'm already now i could have only done 20 yard i'm just hoping now i do know this area because i come through here on the boat and i know that there can be a decent uh tidal pull through this passage but it is low tide now so we should be able to get across without too many mishaps we're about to find out aren't we <laughs> right guys we've changed our mind on getting up to the uh, up to puffin island because the current's a little bit on the strong side and we're both a pair of old farts <laughs> there we go so we're gonna have a, a play about here and see if we can get a see if we can get a bass to take i love they do catch them here but i mean look at this guys this is literally even more, even more, I don't know what the word is, down to earth and, and in touch with the sea than it is on my boat. I'm liking this, I might have to, I might have to invest in one of these. <laughs> right guys, I've been given the rod. I'm not sure where the, uh, how do I let the bail arm off on this? All right, yeah, I've got it. Press that button down, and I'm going to flick it. That was a bit of a rubbish flick, but we'll try again in a minute. Let it sink. Will that just click up now when I start reeling? And here we go, there we go. Let's see if we can't get a fish. I'm going to get a bit closer to that lighthouse. Uh, it'd probably be snaggy and rocky, but that's where the fish are. And that's where you'd like to think they are. Right, we'll let a bit more line off there, there we go. Bit of line off. 
let's have another, let's give it a chuck now, see if I can... Right, yeah, I'm not getting as close as I'd like to get, so, after I've had this cast now, I will, um I'll move back in, I've just felt that at the bottom. So, little paddle tail. <laughs> the anticipation's a killer, isn't it? Just waiting for it. I'm just gonna switch off a minute while I get closer to that lighthouse. Right, guys, we're in, we're in up close and personal with it now, so let's see. That's better, that's a little bit closer, isn't it? Just let that sink. And retrieve. I'm going to try and get out to that red boy there. The, the, the water is naturally drifting that way, so I know that's where they catch a lot of bass over there. I best give him his rod back in a minute, haven't I? <laughs> I've nicked his rod. <laughs> Nothing on that one. Subscribe! Are you what guys? I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, if I didn't have this on my head, you'd be able to see the smile on my face. And it's not as hard as you think it would be. Just keep an eye out for other boats coming through, because the last thing I need is to be knocked off by someone else's swell. Is it coming, Pedro? He's on his way. Let's see if we can go and get a bass or two over there. I'll put you back on when I'm over there. Whew! Oh bloody naked guys! <laughs> right, I'm getting close up to Puffin Island now, so I'm going to start flinging this lure about. Let's put you back on my head. Uh, well, let's have a go. See if we can uh, see if we can pick some up in between these rocks. So I'm just seeing rock under the surface there, so there's a rocket. There's a rock here just at the side of it kelp beds or something you see it under the water that there guys this is the sort of stuff you need to be in I would imagine in never done this before but we'll give it a go just keep an eye on where I am and watch out for little breakers like that I think I better back up guys. Give me a second. Go backwards because I'm coming onto uh, a rock there. There we go. Just get myself away from that, out of danger. I'll go round it. There it is, right the side of it. Water's just breaking on it. Well, there is a boat here at the side of us. Now obviously, he can't come in here where I am. Pull out there. Right, let's try again. Now the water is naturally taking me that way. Spun it wrong way around. Don't! Spin round, spin round. Right, I should move back in towards there, so I'm going to give it another couple of flings now. Let's see how we get on. Let some line off. There we go. That looks like a nice bit of a clearish spot to... Uh, what have I done here? There we go. Nice clearish spot just to get a fish on here now I'm buggered aren't I? <laughs> Love to move myself out again aren't I? It's drifting me in a little bit on the quick side. Put that there. Drift back out again. This, guys, is harder than it looks. Just trying to keep yourself in the right sort of spots. Let's go a bit further up here, just a little bit. And we'll go and have a word with them. And if I get too tired, guess who's dragging me back to that shore? <laughs> right. I'm reckoning about... Turn around a bit. I'm reckoning about here. I should, if there's any fish here, be able to pick a few up. On the lures. A nice double figure bass would do now, wouldn't it? 
turn myself into face it a bit got some wine out again there we go right. a good flick here let that sink and then retrieve something's going to grab that any minute aren't they I mean I'm not sure how quick that's actually retrieving <laughs> come on fishies <laughs> Yeah, it's just what we needed, weren't it? A big lump of weed. We've got tangled here. Yeah, that way. And again. There we go. So I'll cast right up to them rocks now. As close as I can to them. Snap that off. Let it sink. Slow retrieve. That probably means I've got a big lump of crap on again. Oh, I thought I had a fish then! Ah, uh, nothing! Right, I'm going to switch you off guys, I'll put you back on if I can catch a fish. Stay up guys! These lads on this boat and the lady, catching fish here. Little pollock and stuff. I'm just going to nick a three ounce lead off them because I've not got one with me. I've got feathers but no leads. <laughs> Another one hiding there! I've never been on one of these in my life! <laughs> no. Right guys, I've got a set of feathers on. Not very deep here, but I'll not stab myself, which is obligatory. So I'm just going to give these a bouncing around. See if I can catch out. See if we can pick a little uh, pollock up or something close into these rocks. <laughs> little bit of a ding and a dong. Put it back down, there we go. Just a little, nice little gentle pulls and taps, usually best for catching local pollock. I'm sure I'll be having something very, very shortly. I'll let you know when I do. That's better. I've come back out, I've come out away from the island a little bit because it keeps drifting me back to it. I am going to have to watch myself because that wind's just kicking up a bit and that were hard work just paddling to here from the island. <laughs> so I'm going to have this drift, maybe another, see if I can catch myself a pollock or two. And if not, I'm going to go back in. Keep safe, guys. Always keep safe. Nothing happening yet, is there? I know they were catching little pollock close in. I must have ugly feathers on there. <laughs> Nothing happening yet. Oh, oh it was a snag. It was a snag. I thought I did something then. Fish on, guys. Fish on! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant! Little tiny, tiny pollock! Huh? At least I haven't blanked! There you go! <laughs> right, as you can see, it is starting to chop up a little bit. Um, and I'm not as fit as I used to be, so it's better to know your limitations. If it had been a nicer day, I would have carried on round the island and, and got further around but know your limitations guys especially if you're doing something like this I mean you can't hear that with let me pull this microphone out there that might that might give you some sort of idea as to what the wind is like uh, and it is blowing directly against me so head back to uh, safety and I'll see you when I'm a bit closer if I can get closer <laughs> I'm sure I will. Oh, nice. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Not getting very far, am I, guys? <laughs> that is a decent pull against me, that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We'll get there eventually. If I'm not back by midnight, <laughs> you can have me one. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant, guys. I don't think I'd swap this for my boat, though. But good fun, all the same. 
But I keep rowing. I'm making headway, honestly. <laughs> this is a bit different than putting a throttle down, isn't it? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's be fit to do this, lads. And I'm not really fit enough. But, like a lot of us, I have that never give up and die uh, attitude. I will keep going. <laughs> I'll get there. Might take me a couple of hours, but I'll get there. Sometimes I feel like I'm paddling and going backwards. But no, I'm definitely getting closer now, aren't I? Wow! I think, uh, is that Pedro still out on the, on the water? I buggered off with his rod and left there, am I? <laughs> He's not going to be happy with me, is he? <laughs> That's a bit worrying. Look at this fella screaming down the streets. I hope he sees me. And I hope he slows down a bit because I always slow down for the kayakers. <laughs> always. No, he's not going to slow down. He's just going to fly right past me, isn't he? Or is he going to slow down? This is one of the, uh, the trips that come out of Bew Morris, I think. Or that way along. No, he's not going to slow down. He's just going to leave me a big, horrible wake. <laughs> oh, well. It'll be so fun getting up and over the top of it, won't it, when it gets to me? Woo! Oh, I never saw him. Well, guys, I'm getting closer. It's younger. It's Paranoid Pete that's here. His dad must have gone in. <laughs> I buggered off with it, Rod, did I? What? I buggered off with his rod. <laughs> How long did he stay out? Two minutes. Is that it? <laughs> that's a sight for sore eyes. I'm absolutely ghost. <laughs> there we go, guys. A nice, uh, relaxing row about on the Menai Strait and just outside. Now, I've just had a discussion with young Pedro here, <laughs> with Paranoid Pete, about my weight. And he's trying to tell me he's only 14 stone. <laughs> Where will he turn around? Look at that big fat thing in front of him there. <laughs> Well, no, if anybody thinks any different, put it in the comments. <laughs> if you do like the content that I do, uh, please do press the like button and the subscribe button. Also the notification bell. Uh, this is something a little bit different that I wouldn't normally do, but I've really, really enjoyed it. I'm absolutely goosed now. Um, get you on his boat, guys. I've not got enough pictures for Rogue's Gallery. Uh, in fact, Pedro's buying one today. Aren't you, Ped? <laughs> I'll get some sales um, and until next time ta-da for now alright guys we're back in look where the kayak is that is going to be the most disgraceful <laughs> dismount of a kayak in history oh god it's, I tell you what it's lucky my life jacket didn't go off in it <laughs> Subscribe!